If you're gonna train horses, the secret is without a doubt is finding out what they do best and then fine tuning that and developing that. Frustration and failure comes from asking people and horses to do something they're not physically or mentally able to do. That's the key. Most people demand discipline. And I've always said that no, no life grows without discipline, dedication, and a spiritual awareness. And I remember Willard Proctor, he said, I don't know if he can train a horse or not, but he damn sure can landscape. <laughs> I wake up every day thinking I can still beat him. And I may be in denial, I don't know, but uh, given a chance to be in the yearling market, get a chance to buy a couple of horses I like, there's another derby, another classic, another Breeders' Cup out there. The knowledge of being through so many different situations with a horse should benefit you and make you better at this point in your careers, as long as your mind's sharp and your health is good. This has become pretty much my life. I'm a real upbeat, positive person by nature, and so that's one of my faults. That's a real character flaw for me. I think I'm gonna win them all. Bob Knight even said, you're so competitive, we stand in here and you think you're gonna win the replay. You can win a lot of races, but I think you need the Derby, or one of the classics on your resume to really arrive. I think that's important. I think it, it stamps you as being maybe just a cut above there's no way to upstage the Kentucky Derby. It is the one that everybody in racing that is not in racing identifies with. She's led from the start. Every pole a winning one, and it's winning colors showing the way as they straight away in the lane. Winning colors doing it just like Kiwi Lucas said she would. running one two in the middle of the track